und manchmal beunruhigend ist. Und hier ist er also. Herzlich willkommen, Rockus. Netflix continues its love affair with biopics at the recently released seven-episode series Super Sex brings to the viewer the true story of the adult film industry sensation Rocco Sifredi. He rose from humble beginnings in a small town in Italy to become one of the stalwarts in the industry for over 40 years, and the series journeys through his early life and mental struggles as he grapples with stardom and the perils of the business. His brother Tommaso, or Tommy, plays a crucial role in the show, shaping his path to glory, and in this video, we'll look into what actually happened to his elder brother and guiding force. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. How does Super Sex portray Rocco Sifredi's elder brother? The Netflix series starts off with a decisive moment in Rocco's career, when he announced an unexpected early retirement in 2004. The first episode then takes you back through a flashback, where we see the early life of the Italian stallion. As a kid, Rocco grew up in a typical Italian household with several brothers. It suggested that their means were rather limited, and all of his elder brothers were busy working outside to put food on the table. His half-brother, Tommaso, was not part of the Tano family, and it is indicated that his mother was a sex worker. However, he was raised as one of their own, until his life decisions put him at odds against the family. His love interest, Lucia, had an infamous reputation in the small town and Rocco's mother, who loved Tommaso like her own son, never approved of this relationship. But Tommaso was also earning handsomely and he continued to provide for his family, even when his brothers and father did not approve. Meanwhile, Rocco was particularly drawn towards the charisma and success of his elder half-brother. He adored Tommy and idolized him in a way, and the latter was also extremely loving and protective of Rocco. Later, following a fallout with his family, Tommy moves to Paris, and many years later, when a young 20-year-old Rocco heads to Paris in search of work, Tommy readily gives him shelter in his home and finds him work in the restaurant that he manages. Tommy is the manager of a restaurant run by an Italian family with connections to the mob, and he's even shown to have multiple run-ins with the law. Their relationship sours over a period of time, and in later episodes, Tommy's estranged equation with his wife Lucia further erodes his bond with his brother. He does not approve of Rocco's life choices after a point, and he has a lasting feeling that Rocco will never reciprocate the favors he has done to him. That being said, even the last episode of the series highlights how the brothers still still count on each other, despite all the bad blood between them. And one of the major highlights of the series is the complex relationship between Rocco and Tommy. Is the character of Tommaso fictionalized? After witnessing the premiere of the show, Rocco Sifredi admitted that while the narrative was moving and based on his life, there were many elements that were added courtesy of the creative liberty of the makers. As it turns out, the character of Tommaso may have been one of them because there's no mention of such an elder brother in Rocco's previous interviews and the documentary made on him. The close relationship between them that becomes fraught in adulthood is only added for dramatic impact, and the character of his wife Lucia and her close bond with Rocco is a fictional compilation of of several women who influenced his journey. That being said, Rocco did admit to the presence of his real-life elder brother in shaping his career. While Tommaso may have been an imaginary character, Rocco did have a similar figure in his life who was loving and supportive. The actor stated in an interview that he had spoken to his elder brother about his ambitions of working in adult films when he was only 13 years old. Initially, his elder brother dismissed his ideas as fantasies of puberty in a hormone-fueled young teenager, but Rocco persisted with his goals even when he was 16. Finally, when he was 20 and still holding on to his ambitions, his brother realized that Rocco was actually seriously considering a career in the adult film industry. During this time, his elder brother was in Paris, and Rocco headed to him for guidance on his road ahead. His brother was familiar with places where someone interested in such a career could get a kickstart, and he directed Rocco toward a sex club and introduced him to some people from the industry. Eventually, he was spotted by Gabriel Pontello, who was one of the most famous adult film stars of that time, and slowly he was brought into the porn industry. Unlike Tommaso in the show, Rocco's real-life elder brother remained supportive throughout the entire process, and it's quite likely that Rocco didn't have such complicated issues with his brother in reality. So, while the initial guidance and support part is true, the vast majority of Tommy's character is fictionalized in the show. The identity of his real-life brother, however, has been largely kept a secret by Rocco, who did so consciously with respect for his privacy. What happened to Rocco's elder brother? Where is he now? 
In the Netflix series, the character of Tommaso goes on a downward spiral despite the best attempts of his brother Rocco to stop him. His relationship with his wife Lucia worsens to the point where she leaves him with their son. And finally, after Lucia gets remarried, Tommaso is unable to handle the tragedies of his life. He ends up shooting himself dead, which greatly impacts Rocco in his career decisions following his beloved Tommy's death. While this entire saga is fictional, the real identity of his supportive elder brother is a closely guarded secret. Given the huge age difference between the two, he must be above 70 years old by now, even if he's alive. Meanwhile, we do know about Rocco's beloved cousin, Gabriela Galeta. He collaborated with Rocco for over three decades on several adult movies, but the association came to a tragic end in 2020. Gabriel suddenly passed away at his residence in Italy, much to the shock of the adult film star. It has been reported that he died from a heart attack, but there were a few speculations surrounding his death because of his alleged mob connections. However, these are rumors that cannot be validated at this point, and all Rocco had to say about his death was how it left him in shock. He stated that his cousin was a heavy smoker, and it is probably his smoking habit that ultimately took a toll on him. You couldn't be wrong for assuming that the character of Tommaso in the movie is a combination of his cousin brother, who worked alongside Rocco, and his real-life elder brother, who supported him immensely during his struggling days. Marvelous Verdict Super sex could have been more impressive with greater accuracy. When we watch a biopic, we want to know the real story behind the character, and super sex kind of defeats the purpose with far too much fiction polluting the facts. Of course, the director has the creative liberties to change a few things here and there for better storytelling, but to twist and change important characters, or to avoid major story arcs involving the protagonist, defeats the entire purpose. The series is worth watching for some memorable acting performances and a touching narrative, but we would have appreciated more accuracy with the facts and characters, especially with someone as important as Rocco Sifredi's elder brother, who's been such an influential figure. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below about your thoughts on the Netflix series and its controversial protagonist. Also. Tell us what you think about the additional dose of fiction and sugarcoating in the narrative and how accurate you perceive the storytelling to be. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!